It's early, but it's dark. It's 10.40 in the morning. I've had some packages and it's dark in here. Bear with me one moment. That seems a bit better. Hi hey everyone and welcome to today's video. So yes, I've got some packages. Um, I had some CEX vouchers. I've been trading in quite a few bits. Finding things in charity shops, trading them in. And uh, I've got quite a few vouchers. And I've been looking in my local store and there's been really nothing to get excited about. It's just same old stuff. Now and then you get some new stuff in. I mean. My local has gone crazy from the HMV Premium. Great, great movie. But uh, I obviously don't need it because I've already got it and done a review on it. But um, yeah, I've had these vouchers and I've been wondering when am I going to use them. So I've been browsing their website and I've ordered a few things from them. So uh, yeah, we're going to take a look and see what I ordered. So... Uh, Fingers crossed they got the order right and nothing is damaged. So, uh, yeah, shall we start with the first one? I think we'll start with this smaller one first. So, see, yeah, it's starting to send them out in these. So, let's see. You can do it in one go. Yep. Okay, oh, and the first one is <clears throat> the Attitude Era. Volume 2 from WWE. So, recently I've been replaying one of my old wrestling games and it's got the Attitude Era showcase story mode on it. I've been watching it, playing it, and I've got into it and I've been wanting to watch different shows and matches from the Attitude Era and I've just finished earlier this morning watching the Monday Night War which is a great great DVD first time I've actually watched it I've had it for god knows how long so many years and first time I've watched it and I've really enjoyed it so yeah I wanted to get some more titles on the Attitude Era so this has 30 unidentified Unfiltered matches ranging from WWE's championship bouts to rare classic matches from Raw, SmackDown and Heat and much, much more. The entire once-in-a-lifetime cast from the rebellious and demonic, the iconic and the just plain weird. We've got loads of stuff. This is on for seven and a half hours. So, yeah, I can't wait to watch this. This one is number... 61 in the WWE catalogue and we have Stone Cold on the front this is a two disc set now I probably should start with the first volume but I could only afford this one let's give the discs a quick check Seem to be okay. So we get two discs, disc one and disc two, both different colours. That's great. And on the reverse side we have the match listings and chapter listings. So I'm not going to go through all this because I'll be here all day. We have Raw, January 11, 99, Triple H versus Edge. Uh, we have Raw, July 6, 98, Falls Count Anywhere, number one contenders match with the WWE Championship. Uh, Kane versus Mankind. We have March 2000 on Raw, Triple Threat, Kurt Angle, Jericho and Taz. We have Smackdown, September 16, 99, Tri Triple H versus Mr. McMahon for the WWE Championship. Fully Loaded. 2000 last man standing match Triple H Jericho <clears throat> so yeah there's quite a lot on there so uh, look forward to checking that one out Oops. <clears throat> so that 
that's the Attitude Era Volume 2. Move on to the next one, which feels like there's two in here. And there is, so we'll start with the first one. And the first one is the destruction of the shield. <clears throat> Been wanting this one for quite a while. And uh, it's kind of kept its price. And then i kind of forgotten about it. And then with the vouchers, I just got reminded of it. So, uh, yep, I ordered the destruction of the shield. Which was a great faction in WWE from 2012 till... Uh, was it last year when Dean Ambrose left the company? So two discs set. And it's on for 8 hours and 40 minutes. So look forward to this. We have... So, uh, uh, so first disc contains uh, like a documentary and a few early matches from Dean Ambrose, Seth Rollins and Roman Reigns. And then disc one and disc two, and then disc two contains later ones as well as as well as some Blu-ray exclusives. Smack Blu-ray exclusive SmackDown 2013 Undertaker versus Dean Ambrose. That's going to have to be cleaned because that's full of finger marks, and so is that. Why do you have to touch underneath? So that's the Destruction of the Shield, number 71 in the WWE catalogue. And the next one is the Best of Raw, volumes 1 and 2. I'm glad they sent me this one because it's the one I actually ordered. I do already have this, I have the original release, but it's in kind of bulky packaging and I'm all about trying to condense things down, so I ordered this for four pounds. This one's number. This one's number twenty. Uh, twenty sixty six. So uh, yeah, look forward to having another look at this. It's been ages since I last watched this. I ordered this. Well, not this copy. My original one. I ordered it from Music Magpie when they had a shop in my hometown. I think it was something like two thousand and fourteen. And I watched it, and I think it's about six years since I last watched it. So, uh, yeah, look forward to re-watching this again. We have on here lots of, lots and lots of different things. I'm not going to go through all of it, but um, we get moments from Survivor Series, the aftermath of 98, approaching the 99 Royal Rumble, Leading up to WrestleMania 15, aftermath of WrestleMania 15, Mr. McMahon gets hurt, Vol Venus, DX returns, Foley, uh, Dude Loves Return, Kane vs. The Gorilla, and many, many more. Five hours and three minutes. Okay, go. And then we have the two discs right there. Wow. That's badly scratched. I knew this probably would be so I'm not too shocked but that disc looks like a coaster that's bad so uh, yeah that'll have to go back to the store and I'll see if they can clean it for me not good and we have a final one which is quite a large one I've been after this for ages and on eBay this goes for like 20, 18 pounds. CX was four pounds. I was in Stoke about March, February. They had it in their local CEX. I went to the counter to get this. The girl looked, she said she couldn't find the discs. I think probably because she was looking in the wrong place. So I couldn't have it. So I've been searching their website, out of stock, out of stock, 
finally they had it in stock and it is the seven wonders of the industrial world the only reason i wanted this was because of the great ship episode which is all about isambard kingdom brunel's ship the great eastern so uh, yeah this has quite a few different uh, programs the great ship the brooklyn bridge the bell rock hoover dam the line the sewer king and the Panama Canal. 346 minutes over three discs. So, I have all three there. But the only one I'm interested in is this one. So, that's actually not too bad. I have seen worse. And each one has pretty much the same as the covers. Just have a quick check of all these discs. That one's not looking as good for the Sewer King and the Panama Canal. And the last one, Hoover Dam and the Line. That one's not too bad either. So, yeah, I'm going to have to take some of these DVDs back to CX and see if they can give them a clean for me and get these scratches off. But, uh, yeah, no discs missing. So, yeah, happy with what I ordered. Really happy with all that. So, yeah. That's going to be it for today's unboxing video. So I really do hope that you enjoyed. If you have, then please give this video some big thumbs up and don't forget to leave your comments down below. And I will be back with another video pretty soon because I've got some um, charity shop pickups to show you. I'm not going to show them in this video. I'll make a separate video for them. And I've uh, got something that very surprised me when I, when I was in a charity shop. I had to do something for but uh, that's for another time so I uh, hope you enjoyed if you did thumbs up comment down below and subscribe if you'd like to see more videos from me and as always until next time take care and thanks for watching